All right, guys, so we've got a review today. Um, the Huntington Beach by Cleveland. Um, looks like they have potentially 12 different designs, but we've picked four here, which we think represents a good range of what they offer. Mm -hmm. So we've got number one here, which is a typical bladed style. We've got a mid mallet and a, and a full mallet there. And then what would you call this? Like a fang putter, I guess? <coughs> it's almost, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fang putter without part of the fangs. Yeah, yeah. It's They've small cool. fangs. It's, yeah. a, it's a baby tiger. It's a baby tiger. So, so yeah, I mean, here we are. I mean, we're going to have a little putt with them and see what we get. Now, you've got some uh, more, be uh, better knowledge about what we're looking at today. Yeah. Talk to us. We'll find out more. Yeah. They seem pretty good quality, inside nice and soft as well, but they've got the Velcro, not the, uh, not the magnet. They're leather, aren't they? It feels like leather. Yeah. Yeah, it could be faux leather, but it seems like good quality. I do like the grips too, it says it's nice. Uh, the grips look nice as well, so this is obviously a new thing Cleveland have done. I don't know if they've gone in with someone and they haven't put the name down, mm -hmm. but it seems like an yeah, oversized there, 63 gram grip. It feels quite nice, you know? Okay. okay, so first up is the uh, the number one, which is the typical bladed style. Yep. So the number one, okay, and all these putters um, have something called speed optimized face technology. Right. Now, basically, what that means is for off center hits, it's to help the ball speed stay um, similar, I guess, with off center hits. Oh, okay. Uh, all these putters have something called precision milled faces. Right. If we, let's go look at the face there. I like the look of the face actually. It's almost like a honeycomb style. Yeah. Um, again, it's uh, CNC milled, um, which increases friction for a truer and more consistent roll. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Does it work? So, the first thing I can feel is it's quite light. Now, that's a real personal thing. My putter is super heavy because I like a heavy, more pendulum feeling. Do, um, do you mean when you say light do you mean you struggle to feel the weight of the head yeah okay so a lot of that's down to the grip 63 grams okay of grip so there it's it's an oversized grip it's quite yeah. thick it's almost like that super it's quite heavy isn't it it's a parallel style interesting so yeah that's probably why it feels quite light so i'd probably change the grip but okay see what they like with the face That putt was quite nice actually, it's very soft. The ball's never came to the hole before, you know that? Uh, oh! I tell you what, it's a really nice feeling putter. Okay. It's, it's nice and soft for the impact. like it actually. It feels premium, you know, it feels like it's nice and soft for the impact, there's no clickiness to it. Mm -hmm. I mean I can't hold a putt, but it, it does feel nice. What are the range called? What are they called? Uh, they are, they're called um, Huntington Beach. Would you not love to be there right now? Oh, how good would that be? Where, where, where do you imagine this place is? California. Yeah, I was going to say that. I have no idea if it is. If anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rubbish putt. Nice putt. Uh, yeah, nice. Actually, really nice. All right, on to so the next it's, one. It's quite interesting that, that a lot of these putters have this technology where, you know, you're talking about drivers and not hitting the middle of the face. Yeah. It's the same goes with putters, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's actually, you know, to, to, it's, it's a bit of an art form to actually hit the centre. It sounds silly, but to hit the centre of the club face with your putter every time, it's a bit of an art. Yeah. You know, you can look at Tiger Woods' uh, putter, you can see the little sweet spot he's had for 15, 17 years or whatever he has in the same putter. I think we'll, we'll do, it just gives me an idea to do another video um, yeah. about that actually, but yeah. Uh, so this is number, what's that? Can't see there. What number is it? This is number six. Number six. Okay. Now straight away, this is much heavier. Now I guess right. it's a lot more metal. Well, yeah, there's more. But there's... this feels much more my cup of tea. Okay. Um, the head's quite small actually. It's a small blade. Yeah. Yeah, the head's quite small. I quite like the fact that he's got this one little uh, dot just, there for the sight line. Just a dot. Yeah. I like that actually. Okay. It sits funny. What does it sit like? 
Is it the uh, neck? I think, yeah. If you look at how the neck. It's slightly towed in a little bit. Um, but let's have a look apart and see what we get on. Well done. But you're a blade putter kind of person, aren't you? I am a blade putter, but I love the look of a mallet. You used to use a spider? Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Ooh, yep, in the back door. Two out of three is bad. Yeah. So is that one better than the number one then? For me, it is. It's just the weight <laughs> thing. It's okay. just the weight thing. Now I'm excited to try that sort of fang look at, or the, or the more the the bigger uh, mallet. Yeah. There, um, but it does feel it does feel particularly premium. Now, what are you selling these for? 109.99. So it's good value. Yeah. You know, Scotty Cameron's you're looking at north of three times that. Yeah, yeah. three hundred. Um, but it feels great, and I like the fact that it's milled through the whole face. It gives it that kind of premium feel. Um, yeah, nice. So for me, that one's winning so number far. Number one. Okay. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it in the list. So that's number one. That's number two. Right. So for the full mallet, now this is should be at number twelve. Okay. okay. So this should be heavier again. Oh yeah, that's <clears throat> that's that's a real that's a really nice. Wait for me. I take it they're not counterbalanced. There's no weight on the grip, so there's not at the top end. No, there's not. No. Okay. So they're, they're all they're all wearing the 63 gram uh, grip they've got here. Okay. Now the sight lines are different. You can see it runs down the whole of the of the. Uh, you have three on 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 there, and you've got the two, two main there. ones back. I yeah. like that. More so than the dot. Yeah. I'm, well, it's I like it quite simple personally, but I have to see where they do that because yeah. it helps people get you know. Yeah in the right direction and produce a more consistent putting stroke. Lovely. That is beautiful. Really like that. Really quick, like that. How quick is that putt? Yeah, isn't it? It's got a turn. Ooh. Try to. I tell you, roll that nice, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's nice. So that's leaving. Again, it's, what's good as well is the feel is consistent throughout the range. So even with the blade putter, you'd expect this to maybe be slightly softer because there's more mass behind it. Yeah. But it feels just as, as soft and, and uh, yeah, just as soft as the, as the blade and, and the same. You know, so it's, yeah. it's a good, it's, it's a good situation, right? There we go. Has to be, isn't it? Oh yeah, fell in. That's one thing they do say about softer feel. <clears throat> it's made with 304 stainless steel. Uh, again, with the CNC milled face, just yeah. keeps it really soft. Yeah. Um, no, it's beautiful. It's really, really good. So a lot of putters are made with 17 slash 4 stainless steel. Right. Um, but this is made with 304, right. which is 51% softer is what they say. Wow, okay. Well, you can so, definitely feel it. Yeah. Soft. I'd say it's softer than my eagle putter. Okay. Well, a few more of these because I'm actually enjoying this putter. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's a bad putt. What's interesting, and uh, we may talk about this later, is that with the, with the bladed putter, I was pulling everything, and this I'm pushing it. <laughs> now, I don't know why that's the case, but it may be doing something to do with the weight of the putter itself. But Lovely. I mean, I, I don't know, I guess we sort of look into that, but yeah. what I would suggest is that if the, if the putter head is too light, you might have more face rotation, yeah. whereas if the putter head is heavier, then you have less. Yeah, just as interesting so. as I was putting, you know, it's quite evident there. Okay, so this one is the number 11, the Fang style. Now, again, the weight's nice. It's not quite as heavy. It's definitely in between the mini mallet and the, and the big mallet. Um, so yeah, again, it's got a nice weight to it. I think for the weight wise, I think the big man is better, but we'll see how it performs. Now, as you can see here, it's just a one sight line going down the back. There's, it's actually a naked top line there. Okay. Um, but again, looks nice. Nice stroke. I mean, if you think soft feel, yeah. what brand do you think of? Scotty Cameron. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, actually, yeah, I'd say Scotty Hammond or Odyssey Whitehot or something yeah, like that. Because that's, that's, that's super soft. Isn't that's it? where I'm going, really, in my mind. Yeah. Um, but Scotty's, uh, you know, very soft as well. Not for me, mate. Surprisingly, nope. not for me. Way lighter. <coughs> uh, well, I feel like I'm taking that back. It's. I feel like I can't keep it straight. It's okay. kind of wobbly. You like that weight? On I the like head. that weight of the mallet. I thought I was, I was excited to try this, but it's straight away not for me. Because um, it's interesting. I mean, all these things you're describing, and you don't actually use a mallet potter. No. You just put the weight of that thing. <laughs> is it heavy? Is it? Okay. It's super heavy, but yeah. For, I don't know, that was a lovely part, but it's, it feels like I can take it back a little too fast, a little too easy, you know. Whereas this uh, this mallet here, this one, I just feel like it's a nice. That's the point. full. That's the full mallet. Yeah. 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 For me, that's the one, mate. Um, so, initial thoughts. Very, very good. As usual, Cleveland just—they're just such a good, such a good company, aren't they? Yeah. Everything they make is good quality, good price. Um, the fact that you've got, they've got twelve different models, so you can customize them all, or what you can try out different ones is great as well. So they've got different styles for everyone. Um, as I said, I think this is the winner for me, which is the the mallet. Okay. Um, just purely for the weight, but I guess you know, you could potentially take this grip off and, and try maybe a lighter grip, and you that may do. change it. But that—that's a really, really nice feeling putter actually.